Have you ever stopped to question what truly makes a life well lived? Is it the pursuit of happiness, the accumulation of wealth, or perhaps the cultivation of meaningful relationships? Or is it something deeper, something more profound that underlies our existence? As we delve into this exploration, we invite you to ponder the essence of life through the lens of inspirational quotes. These words of wisdom span across time and space, providing us with unique perspectives. Allow these profound quotes from diverse thinkers to guide your reflection. Our journey begins with a quote from Mark Twain. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. This quote is a profound reminder of the journey of life and the importance of finding your purpose. Imagine a ship setting out to sea without a destination in mind. It may have a sturdy hull, a competent crew, and a vast ocean to explore, but without a compass guiding it to a goal, it would merely drift aimlessly. Just like that ship, we need a purpose in life to direct our actions and decisions. But what does it mean to find your purpose? It's not about chasing after fame or wealth, though these may come as byproducts. It's about discovering what truly makes you feel alive, what sparks joy in your heart, and what allows you to make a meaningful contribution to the world. Finding your purpose is not a one-time event, but rather a continuous process of self-discovery. It's about peeling back the layers of societal expectations, personal fears, and self-imposed limitations to reveal the true essence of who you are. It's about embracing your uniqueness and leveraging it to make a positive impact. The implications of Mark Twain's quote are profound. It suggests that the day of our birth is only the beginning of our journey. The day we discover our purpose is when we truly start living. It's the point where life shifts from being a mere existence to a meaningful adventure. Finding your purpose gives you a reason to wake up every morning with excitement and anticipation. It fuels your dreams and gives you the courage to face challenges. It adds depth to your experiences and richness to your relationships. In the end, finding your purpose is about creating a life that you can look back on with satisfaction and pride. It's about leaving a legacy that resonates with your values and contributions. It's about living not just for yourself, but for the greater good. Remember, finding your purpose is the first step towards a fulfilling life. As we continue our journey, consider this wisdom from George Bernard Shaw. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. In this vast tapestry of existence, each of us is an artist deliberately weaving our own threads, shaping our own destiny. Life, you see, isn't a puzzle to be solved, a mystery to be unraveled, but a canvas to be painted, a story to be written. It's an ongoing process of growth and change, of evolution and transformation. Every day, we are given a chance to change, to grow, to evolve. We can choose to stay in the comfort of familiarity, or we can choose to step into the unknown, to explore uncharted territories, to challenge our boundaries. It's in these moments of choice where we decide whether to cling to the old or embrace the new that we truly create ourselves. Life isn't a series of predetermined stages, but rather a continuous journey, an endless road of opportunities. And on this road, it's not the destination that matters most, but the journey itself. Every step we take, every decision we make, shapes the path we walk on. It's our choices that determine who we become, not our circumstances. We often think of growth as a linear process, as a straight path from point A to point B. But the truth is, growth is messy. It's a zigzag path full of twists and turns, full of ups and downs. It's a process of trial and error, of success and failure, of joy and pain. But it's through this process, through these challenges and struggles that we learn, that we grow, that we evolve. We are not passive spectators in the theater of life. We are active participants. We are the playwrights, the directors, the actors. We have the power to choose, the power to change, the power to create. So remember, every moment is an opportunity. Every challenge is a lesson. Every setback is a stepping stone. So embrace the journey of life and don't be afraid to create the best version of yourself. After all, life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Now let's reflect on a powerful thought from Friedrich Nietzsche. He who has a why to live can bear almost anyhow. Imagine for a moment a mountain climber scaling the tallest peak. Each step requires immense effort. Every breath is a struggle and the harsh weather conditions are relentless. Still, the climber persists. Why? 
because they have a purpose, a why. The summit, the view, the achievement. In life, we all face our own mountains. These are the challenges, the setbacks, the obstacles that often seem insurmountable. They can be as diverse as a financial crisis, a health issue or a heartbreak. But like the climber, we too have our why. It could be a dream, a family, a cause or a personal goal. This why gives us the strength to endure, to push forward, to conquer our mountains. Adversity, as harsh as it may be, plays a crucial role in our lives. It's the grit that sharpens us, the fire that tempers us. It's through facing adversity that we learn our strengths, discover our capabilities and develop resilience. Like a piece of coal transforming into a diamond under pressure, adversity can shape us into stronger, more beautiful versions of ourselves. Resilience, the ability to bounce back from hardship, is not just an innate quality. It's a skill that can be developed, a muscle that can be strengthened. Each challenge we overcome, each obstacle we navigate serves to build our resilience. It's like a beacon of light illuminating our path, guiding us through even the stormiest seas of life. The importance of having a strong why, a purpose, cannot be overstated. It's the compass that directs us, the force that propels us forward. It's our motivation, our inspiration, our reason for being. It's what gives our struggles meaning, what gives our lives value. Remember, your why doesn't have to be grand or extraordinary. It can be as simple as wanting to be happy, wanting to make a difference, or wanting to love and be loved. Now, your why can be your guiding light, even in the darkest times. As we near our journey's end, ponder upon this insight by Albert Einstein. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. Success. It's a word that's often thrown around, a concept that's endlessly chased. But what is success really? Is it the glimmering trophies on our shelves, the zeros in our bank accounts, the accolades that fill our resumes? Perhaps to some. But let's delve a little deeper. True success, the kind that resounds through the ages, lies not in the tangible rewards we accumulate. It's not about the applause that fades, the titles that lose their shine, or the wealth that can be lost in an instant. True success is about the value we bring to the world, the positive impact we have on those around us. It's in the way we inspire others to reach for their dreams, how we uplift those who have fallen, how we light up the world with our ideas and our passions. It's in our kindness, our generosity, our courage. It's in our authenticity, in being true to ourselves, in staying true to our values, even in the face of adversity. It's about leaving the world a little better than we found it, touching lives, making a difference. It's about the legacy we leave behind, the footprints we etch in the sands of time. It's about being a beacon of hope in a world that often seems dark and daunting. Remember, every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every moment of honesty and integrity, these are your true victories. These are the triumphs that define you, that make you a person of value. So as we stand on the precipice of our dreams, let us not merely strive for success as the world defines it. Let's strive to be of value, to make a difference, to touch lives, to leave a lasting legacy. Success is fleeting, but your value endures. Finally, let's contemplate these words from Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor and some style. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of a well-lived life. It's a reminder that existence is more than just getting by day after day. It's about flourishing, about finding joy in every moment, and about making our mark in the world in our own unique way. Throughout this discussion, we've explored the themes of purpose, growth, resilience and success. We've seen how these elements intertwine to create the rich tapestry of life. Purpose gives us a reason to rise each morning. Growth, although often uncomfortable, propels us forward, transforming us into better versions of ourselves. Resilience enables us to weather the storms of life and emerge stronger on the other side. And success, however we choose to define it, brings a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. But Angela's words remind us that it's not enough to simply go through the motions. To truly live, we must do so with passion, compassion, humor, and style. Passion fuels our endeavors. Compassion connects us to others. Humor lightens our burdens and style, well, style makes us unforgettable. 
Remember, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving with passion, compassion, humor, and style. That's the beauty of life.